Jo. Oh, nah, nah. Just me to the matter, lad. Sorry, lad. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Yeah, I'm blessed, kid. I got peas now, so I invest it. No holes in the pocket, so I don't feel pressured. Money's long like elastic band, so I stretch it. Never blacked out on a tech one, no. Every day it's a blessed one, and it could get techie, so fuck off, Becky, and a few big toes get stepped on. When he had no dough, was a piss take. You don't swim your sink in this lake. And I still got a pocket for the money I stole on the road, but now I've got wrist take, look. Me wrist is aching, it took a minute. I had patience, but now I've got dough in a bank with more than the tank. Fuck Satan, but see this picture that I'm Painting scene like from another angle adjacent, never complacent. That comes when you're impatient. See through man like Tracing. Um, I couldn't get the breath of the second last minute. I couldn't get. Do you like that one? See this picture I'm painting scene like from another angle adjacent. Oh shit! So basically, we got C2 in the studio. Oh, C's, C's here, eh? Just C's, but... C's man. <laughs> 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 like I've got my mate there but he hates the camera so fucking yeah so basically yeah we're just doing a fucking I had a, I had a fucking little vision of doing an EP I'm fucking um, um, <laughs> you think she's in the camera he's not in the camera is he like, nah so fucking I had, I, had, I had a vision of doing an EP I'm fucking because obviously I jumped back on the music after what since I was what after about 10 years so I stopped the music like 10 years ago and I thought, let me just jump back on it. So yeah, and now, yeah man, brought two songs out um, and then fucking, I've decided to just put like a small body of work out but I don't know if I'm gonna do it like that now. I was thinking on just like, maybe going on like a little music run where I bring like <clears throat> a song out every week for like six weeks, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know when I'm gonna do it but yeah, that's the plan. But yeah, see what happens, innit? Go ahead, lad, you can play, lad, you're just fucking just playing, innit, fuck it. Yeah, I'm blessed, kid, I've got peas now, so I invest it. No holes in the pocket, so I don't feel pressured. Money's long like elastic bands, so I'm stressed. Man, you need to do that for, you know? Is it? Money's long like elastic. Money's long like elastic bands. Oh, yeah, money's long like <laughs> Money's long like elastic bands, so I'm stretchy. <laughs> right. Money's long. Then... Money's long like elastic bands, so stretchy, lad. Never blacked out on the third one. If we did, it's a blessed one. Go ahead, let's go. To the proof wrong with the doubters, no? Oi! 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 What have you done to that? Oi! Lad, that sounds mad! Hey, that sounds hard, that, doesn't it? Yo! Okay then! Boah! <laughs> How are you doing now? It just sounds just it. Yo! Ever touch road. And a lad, you can pull that into a beat and just, just do it, do another tune. Roll, rolls into another tune. Yeah, lad. Into a gram something. Last so basically, yeah, they, um, yeah, I just wanted to get back into my music. Basically, um, as you probably know, um, I come to yourself when I met you through what the world in one city, wasn't it? I remember the remember that conversation when you were sitting on the floor and I said, "Yo, do you do do you do, um, lad?" I'm from then. I had like a vision mm. and I didn't even, I hadn't even had an Instagram there. Didn't have nothing, nothing was ready to go, but I had a vision in my head like, I'm going to do this. And this is where I am now. Type of like, I've got, got on back on my music. Obviously my Instagram has been going for a few months. Um, I've had a couple of bits on radio. Um, but I've only had two songs and it got to the point where it was like, two songs just ain't going to cut it really. So I've decided to, well, I've been a change of mind. I don't know if I'm gonna bring a full EP out. I'm probably gonna do like a little music run for like six, seven weeks and bring a music uh, a song out every week. And then that'll make the EP type thing after that, do you know what I mean? But yeah, 
So that's where I am, and it's called, well, it's going to be called Never Too Late. And the meaning behind that is, like, it's never too late. Like, I've experienced a few things in my life, um, and now I'm I'm a better person. I'm in a better position in my life. Um, and I've been through, like, a little journey, do you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm just telling bits through my music. Obviously, not, not all of it, but I'm telling, like, some things via my music. Um, I'm just enjoying it at the same time. Do you want to speak on any of those things that you've been through with your life? You said you've been on a long journey. Um, yeah, go on, yeah. Any of those things that are um, specific? So, so, the music? so, basically my dad died when I was 18. That was a bit of, that, I was okay with that, but that was like a one way, like, um, I still had my mum, so I could kind of deal with that, do you know what I mean? Um, then my mum died like a few years, well, no, nearly five years ago now. You know what I'm saying? A few years, nearly five years ago. Um, but my daughter was born the day before my mum died. So that was a bit of a crazy time. Going back a little bit further, back into 2016, I went to jail for a little bit. Quick stint in jail. Um, like it was just a crazy time. I was just a stupid kid. Make it, like I, I was never a bad person. Never like to do with any like sort of violence or not like that. It was all just stupid, silly mistakes and decisions but I'd pay for it now even when it comes to like getting jobs like I know I've got the intelligence to get really good jobs but I've got barriers well, I create my own barriers as well to like because that's me creating my own barrier me saying you can't get that job but let's be honest DBS boom see you later you're not getting a job you know what I mean so that's why I work on site and that's where fire on site comes from so I don't know if you've seen that fire on site I'm up to par three at the minute but yeah so do we fire on sites in between us where they just spit bars on site? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say what's what's going on with fire on sites with it? Is it yeah. sticking with you, independence? No, well listen, I had a conversation with someone the other day actually, um someone that's within music. Not no one anyone knows, like not not big in the music, but um they come with some ideas like about you should get funding for that and you can, what you can try and do. Remember that idea? I'm not even gonna say the idea on here because I might give it away too much, but um because it's on site can maybe like integrate it with brands and stuff like that and but that's sort of maybe for the future but fire on site is actually trademarked so i own fire the name fire on site now so um and i thought i was just a, i thought at first it would have been just a little bit of a waste of money but i feel like i don't think it will be now i feel like i can really do something with on fire on site do you know what i mean um, with the name fire on site and see where see where it takes you. Giving away no secrets. Nah, I can't. I can I'll give a little secret then. If that was a full but no. See what happens in it. Wherever it takes me, fire on site. It could be anything. Like people, it could it could go down so many routes. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like I'm just having fun with the music at the minute. Like it's not even like I need to make it or any. I'm not even bothered about making it. Like that's no. If anything like that, and someone notes me, then yeah, probably not even good enough. But in my own head, I think my music good enough to, to to please me. Do you get me? And I'm happy with what I'm what I'm what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? So, and I'm I, and people can see like I'm constantly improving as well. So, I feel like from when I first started to where I am now, and it's only been what less than six months. I feel like I'm, um, I've progressed a little bit. Hasty beats. I don't like with that vibe, you know. Try the one. Back then, I felt like a lost kid. Do man put on mileage in on the mattress? That sounds sick, that I think. Yeah. Just loads of HD beats out there. I fuck with them, lad. He's, he's good. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's the same BPM, like. What was it, yeah? I don't know. Oh, no, what? I, I can just redo that. Because I'm glad I've got more time to, to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felt like a lost kid, did it? What this? Felt like a lost kid. Do you mind put a mile in? Yeah? Yeah, this sounds bad. It's hard, isn't it? It is the same, it is the same tempo. Is it? It sounds well better. Ghost, don't it? Yo. yo, and it's cop that. Oh shit. Listen, listen, yo. I said back then, I felt like a lost kid. Do you mind us put a mile in on the more trips? Right. Making crazy cash back. That sounds hard. Eh? So lost quids, not like stowing shorts, but the roll around in hot whips. Up and down the UK, mad life had a portrait With my man Charles and I keep Bobby, no Boucher Use your head, medulla arm legate Chairman whip, no key push button, she's a starter You're gonna be recorded, not like, more chill Oh shit 
might do a different tune on this, you know. I might just switch it up. Bait trips. On this beat? Yeah. Thinking that, you know, yo. if you've got something else on your feet. Listen, yo, I said, you ever done them bait trips? Trying to duck the matrix? Add a couple cold D's, but a rodent didn't say shit. Out there making crazy pee, gliding on the late shift. Money came quick, fast, didn't have a fucking weight slip. Nah, look, I wasn't on no payroll. Ever been on a moth for two days in the same clothes? Trying to dodge the plain clothes, but bringing in the pesos, it comes on top. The car does what it said so. What do you reckon that sound like? Oi! I'm meant to be jumping on the kid on some. I might. This might be the beat, you know. Yeah. Oh shit! Yes, I might do a different tune on this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I might just switch it up. Big trips. Yeah. Oi! Yo. Listen. Yo, I said, you ever done them bait trips? Try to stop the matrix. I don't know what Cody's, but a roll didn't say shit. Out there making crazy pee, gliding on the late shift. Money came quick, fast, didn't have fucking wasteland. Nah, look, I wasn't on the payroll. Ever been on the moth for two days in the same clothes? Try to dodge the plane clothes, but bringing in the pesos, it comes on top. The car does what it said so. Oh, nah, posted in the dock, in a crown court, age of 19, on some mad fraud. 32 weeks suspended for 18, zoomed out the back door. Thinking to myself, what the fuck would do with that for? I know why I done it. Seen a bit of dome, find a scheme and had to run it. That was the first time I seen quick cash, spending it quick, fast. Them times, them. Oi! <laughs> like that goes, you know? Yeah, it goes better, yeah. Oi! It's good. There's one thing I was going to touch on. Go on. Um, you yeah. kind of touched on it a bit, but yeah, go on. you're someone who, obviously, you've worked with LFC as like a model slash kind of actor, if you will. Oh, yeah, they've um, done, yeah. They're you're, you're everywhere you are, you're always like the funny guy in the room. Yeah, yeah. Why, why music? Why not some other form um, of moments? Do you know what? I've always been in music since I was. I started singing when I was 14, no, 15. Um, one of me, my very first girlfriend got me into a choir. I was in a choir with um, in Toxtuff. And so but imagine being 15, singing in a gospel choir, and you used to be on the roads with your mates. So that was a tricky time as well. So yeah, so back then I was like, yeah, that's when I, that's when I got into, start, first started singing. Then my brother, he was into his music as well. Uh, my brother Miles, he went into doing like music production. He went to college, got a national diploma, went to university, done music production, um, and we had a studio in our house. So, like, me one of my very first songs was with Lanka, you know, Lanka Gomez, mm. you know, Lanka, is it? But one of my very first songs was with Lanka years ago. Um, I'll have to root that song up, but I was speaking to him the other week. Lanka, tune. <laughs> but listen, we had this tune, yeah. And it was sick. I mean, we filmed it, we, we recorded it in my brother's room, yeah. And we were like one of the only ones that had like a, not one of the only ones, but our age, like we had a recording studio and us. We didn't really bring everyone to it. We just like, it was a chosen few. We just make a music. We should just do funny stuff on there. Like we should just do like videos or skits or voiceovers and all that. So me and my brother were just doing stuff like that. And then like, I kind of fell off the music side of things. No, no. Then I got into, when I come to be like late teens, early twenties, um, I got into singing with a place called Positive Impact. A lot of people probably know where that is, but in in, um, in Toxteth. And I was doing like Motown shows, singing. Um, and so I was still involved in music. But at that time then, I was kind of like, at the age where I was going out, started to party and stuff like that. You know them ones, dabbling this, dabbling that. And then, then life just kind of just, wouldn't say it spiraled out of control. It just like kind of got a grip on me, life itself, where I was like going out and wanted to just go out and started missing stuff, started like getting jobs and fucking them off, do all that type of stuff. And that's what I started to do. And then I just kind of went in like a little out all the time. And I went down that kind of route then. And my music just got to the back burner. Um, so, so is this like the, the redemption? This is the redemption, lad. Yeah, it could be, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm 33 now, yeah? And, like, age is nothing but a number, but I still just wanted to do it. And I first said to myself, if I don't do it, I'll look back in years to come and be like, why didn't I do that? 
Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I know, because I've been writing, I've been writing since my mum died. I started writing loads because I was feeling, feeling shit. So I started writing. Um, and then, yeah, started writing loads of stuff. So I had loads of stuff in my notes. And like some of these songs that I will have them doing, or some of the songs that, like the last two songs, Listen Up, and they've been written for a few years then. And it was just like, just started to where I was just writing stuff and putting them on my notes and then I was just putting loads of notes together and making a song. And that's basically what some of these are doing. Um, but a few of them I've actually written recently. Um, now, I'm, I never used to be able to write. Well, I said to myself I couldn't write. But now, I feel like I can just literally hear the beat that I feel. Boom. My mind just starts wandering and starts just putting stuff down, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then that's when you need people like C's, my like Connor, you know what I mean? He used to AKA C2 back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but no, but my man, like stuff like you need with people like that, where that, um, that are the same type of vibe with the music. So they'll be able to do stuff, like just do things that I didn't know that, that, that I wanted on a song until he's put them on. It's like, yo, that's added sick. That's added a bit more to it. Just put a little there, a bit more to the song. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so I think there's going to be more from me and our kid here anyway, um, in the future, see. And you know what, like I said, I'm just enjoying it. I'm not pushing for nothing. It's just like, I feel like I'm, them two, them bits of radio play that I'm getting, it's just made me, it's gonna be, it's not like it's going anywhere, but it's giving me a confidence boost, like, okay, fucking hell, I'm, I'm doing a little bit. Like that look back then, we've just done then. You know, when you say back then, <laughs> oi. Serious, isn't it? That's a groove, that, isn't it? That's a boogie one. That's going to the club. <laughs> yeah. Yo, back then, I felt like a lost kid doing miles, putting mileage in on a mock trip. Oi, what you reckon? Yeah, yo, yo, I said back then, I felt like a lost kid doing mileage, putting mileage in on a mock trip, making crazy cash, but I've also lost quids, no license or insurance, plus the roller around in hot whip, up and down the UK, mad life that a portrait, with my man Taz, now keep Bobby, no Boucher, use your head, medulla omlingata, jam and whip, no key push button, she's the starter life, my life was a movie then, and we on the move again, you reckon that's too fast? Yo, haha. <laughs> And it's copter. Yo, do you remember back then? Nah, look, I said back then, I felt like a lost kid doing miles, putting mileage in on the mock trips, making crazy cash, but I've also lost quiz, no license on insurance, but still rolling around in hot whips. Oh, <laughs> that sounds deep. Like that beat's sick, you know? Yo, go ahead, that's go, but I'll start, and I'm not starting it again, that's, that's all right, that. From there, yeah. 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 Yo, yo, up and down the UK, mad life down a portrait with my man Charles and Naki Bobby, no Boucher, use your head, medulla on the gate, Jim and whip, no key push button, she's a starter like. <laughs> Lad, oi, oi, lad, no, but this is what it's getting. <laughs> when he seen the camera turn, <laughs> he went like that, look, went like that. Lad, oi, go back, the energy on this is the one. So we're back, lad, we're back, we're back. So as we left off, innit, we, um, what was it, we done the studio, Dude, that was time ago. Mm. That was about, what? Two months. About two months ago, just two been months. doing my own thing, lad, just... Do you know what it is, yeah, I've realised that, like... When I first started my Instagram back up, yeah. I started it back up, like, what, August? I hadn't been on Instagram for about, what, four or five years? <sighs> lad, I, I don't want to follow what other people are doing. I'm just doing my own thing, just taking my time, lad. You know what I mean? Time's at 11. Need a coffee, lad. Do you want a drink? Nah, nah. Nah? Do you want Starbucks, lad? Coffee's the start of the day. That Do you know what, lad? If I, if I, if I, if I, yeah, yeah, I, lad, I had one this morning, but fucking one of, one of my mates there, lad, fucking, um, um, told me this, this, this new, well, it's a fucking, it's a iced white mocha. So like a, like an um, iced coffee. Let me go this way, actually. 
ice white mocha. Um, a bit like caramel drizzle on that on it. Peng. Proper. Just gonna go and get one of them from Starbucks now. See what happens. Sorry lads. Cockta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lad, that's no TV, oh. Oh. Nah, no TV, lad. Do you know what? The only reason why I done TV on it, yeah. Because it was like I tried to do cop that and it wasn't there. And I don't know, lad. See, when you just it's just that's just me page. Obviously, it's cop that, but pen this, yo. Listen, people. White mocha, caramel drizzle, and caramel syrup. Mad. Back to the whip. Yeah, so I had to grow up around here till I was like five and then my mum just shipped us off up by L7, so this is L8. So we moved to more like Edge Hill. Ah, oh, yeah, Warwick Street. Jeez, go low. Do you know what I mean? Nah, that was my local shop, I remember the guys. See, that, so, so that one there, that flat there, that middle one there, that middle one, I think it's the middle of two or three. Yeah, lad, and then obviously he's just chilling there. Like the close there. The close lad, yeah. But that it's all done up now. It's all proper done up. Um, but yeah, lad, you never forget where you come from, but sometimes you just... Obviously, my mum moved us... Still lived within the area, but just moved us to a to a nicer house, really. Um, I think, I'm not going to lie, if... Um, to be honest, I still ended up chilling around here anyway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Cause you're local still. Yeah, man, it is now. But but as I say, I used to live it. This this used to be owned by. Remember getting told days ago this used to be owned by student and um, the university. Oh, there's Kathleen there. You okay, Kathleen? <laughs> Are you right? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, Kathleen. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Freedom close, man. You just back up here. Freedom close, man. So obviously I don't really want to go in the close because I feel like I'm fucking... But yeah, I lived there till like, what, about four years ago? Do you know what? It was mad moving. It was mad that I had to move out, like, but... Um, yeah, it was just one of them. Um, ended up going to jail for a little bit. And then after that, I just kind of switched up my mindset then. Said, nah, I can't do this. It's not even that, just doing it to my family is stress, but you know what? You don't think when you when you're um, you don't think when you're having um, got any responsibilities, do you know what I mean? Um yeah, the only last thing I've got to say yeah, is man. obviously you had a late start but quite an impactful yeah. in twenty twenty two. Yeah. What well, I know you don't have many goals with music, you are enjoying it right now, but yeah. there are any goals for this year, 2023, is there anything you've kind of got your sights set on? Do you know what? Just progress as much more more than I have done last year. Obviously, you know, started late last year. Maybe just progress a bit more and see where it takes me. But a goal, maybe just get more like little bits of shows under me belt. Funny enough, I got, um, yeah, I got a little, not a mess. Well, yeah, a message the other day about a show that's upcoming. It's sometime in the summer. But, like, just get more shows on me, about get me confidence up. I'm confident anyway, but more, just, like, getting more confidence on, on a music level, in on the stage, and just, like, believing in me own music. I do believe in me music, but sometimes I, when I hear something over and over again, I start to, like, doubt it, and it's like, do you know what? Just believe in myself, just that little bit more, um, because I know... I have, I'm good and I have got potential to even do better as well. But yeah, I don't want to reach too far just right now because I don't want to shoot myself in the foot and get disappointed. But I like to say, just progress, just keep progressing. As long as I'm keep progressing, I'm not falling down. Then I feel like that's a really good goal to reach. Yeah. Perfect. But that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Cut that off nicely. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say last words? Um, <laughs> nah, but watch out for cop that man. And see when my EP comes out, go out and cop that. Do you get me? But um, nah, I think you're a liker, people. And like I say, I think I want to just do this just to like kind of um, show people not just 
their funny funny um, cop that for people who know me I was going to say my government name then I was actually going to say my government name for not not everyone knows it but um, I was actually going to um, yeah I forgot what I was going to say then <laughs> no but I was uh, what was I going to what was I saying then <laughs> I forgot people seeing like the funny oh yeah view. that was it I want to um, like I'd, people who know me know a funny side to me but I, I wanted people who don't know me to see like the personality of what I've got and um, like just a bit more, just peel up, peel off the layers. Like I just heard a bit more, more about me and where they were like why I started music again. I, I, age ain't not but a number, but the age of thirty-three people probably wouldn't even bother. But like I say, age is not but a number. It's never too late to do what you want, people. And even if it's you, you, you're not gonna. It's not about making it or, or being the, being the, um, being in the, the public eye, being famous. It's just about being the best that you can be, you get me? And that's kind of what, I'm, what I want to do, really. And my daughter loves my music anyway, so she sings me songs, not the swearing bits, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's it. From one of the most crazy parts of the UK, where man used to fuck with on the road, asking for loose change. Kids to sneak mums out to work at night like Bruce Wayne. When man is here trying to be the top boy.